On this video, uh, I want to go into how to troubleshoot your OpenStack uh, environment a little bit. I've, I've run into some errors here and there, and uh, it can be really tricky having all of these LXC containers and, and different nodes where things run on. Uh, and I've learned a lot uh, by just you know going through Stack Overflow and, and getting some answers here and there. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to go through that, and we're going to spin up the first one of these kind of troubleshooting videos. We're going to spin up the Juju GUIs, and they can be really helpful on figuring out where things are and how the things are configured. So we'll spin up our, our Maz GUI here, and we're going to need some information about the nodes here in a minute. Let's go into uh, the Maz SSH. Okay, and one of the sites that I found that was very helpful. Let's go. We're gonna pull up this project site because I've already documented all this, and it's out here on the net. We'll go to the Juju GUI access internal and external, and we'll pull up the doc that I've made on on how I got all this done. So anyway. This site was super helpful. I'll just show it to you. Um, this is the Ask Ubuntu site. Uh, lots of good information. They they've helped me figure out how to get to these how to get these GUIs spun up. Uh, so the first thing you have to do is you have to export your Juju Home uh, install. So this is the external Juju site that we created when we bootstrapped landscape uh, to to start the landscape installer so you have to export it first and then after you export it you can now talk to it uh, let's grab this command real quick the easiest way to to deal with juju is through the GUI so let's just do a juju status so this gives you all after you've done the export and you to the home directory this gives you everything you need to know about what Juju did to install when it bootstrapped on Maz uh, you can see that the, the physical machines are listed you know machines this is machine zero so that's the first node that it used and you'll see that at the bottom but then he created all of these virtual machines these LXC containers underneath it uh, you got six of them there uh, and then he goes through and tells you what he installed on them uh, Apache uh, all kinds of different stuff, you know, uh, RabbitMQ, uh, SQL. Just this is a great way to get information. Do it just doing the Juju status, but an easier way. And he tells you what node uh, he put this on. Somewhere in the mix of all this, there it is, right there. So you can go to uh, Maz and pull his IP and 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 take a look at that machine. Anyway, the easiest way is to install uh, the Juju GUI. And we'll go back and grab the command. You can, Juju GUI is one of the only things you can install alongside Juju on Machine Zero. Everything else needs to go in its own LXC container. Uh, it's you don't want to do this to just anything. This can really break some stuff. So just deploy Juju and Juju GUI on on the actual machine. So go ahead and deploy it. And he's going to add him as a charm. He's not actually connected to anything. He's just just the GUI for Juju. So you can do Juju status, Juju GUI, and he's installing. And we have to wait for him to be started. You can be really impatient while he's doing that. So he's installing him on machine zero, which we saw was node two seven eighty. So let's go out to Maz and say node two seven eighty. His IP is this ten one 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 fifty one. So that's where the GUI will be ex accessible by your browser. So let's go see if he's done yet. So now you got to wait for him to be started, and now he's started. Uh, so pull up your browser. And just that IP you found, stick it up here, and 
go ahead and accept it. And here's the Juju GUI. You're the on the external Juju GUI, and he's gonna tell you where he finds his password at. Uh, but this one is the secret passphrase that you put in when you bootstrapped Juju during the landscape install, the initial install. So just go ahead and log in and I'll show you what I mean by that. When we in the other videos when we set this up, uh, we we added this environment YAML file. Right here. And you can just cat that file. And you can see that's our admin secret. So that's what the GUI's password was. So now we're in here. Now this is much easier that you can tell what's going on. You can see how they're all connected. And if you go up here to add services, yeah. Answer. This will give you the all the information you need. So you need to know something about landscape. Hit landscape, unfold this. Let landscape with with a number after it's how many instances you have, and you'll see that when we get into the compute nodes. But there's only one landscape instance on on this GG on the external GG environment. And you can see GG GUI that we installed. It's not connected to anything. But go into landscape, and you get a lot of good information about it. Uh, what address is it? Uh, you know who's connected to, what his IDs are going to be, what his roles are. Uh, you can even in G G you can even go to machines, and he'll tell you, you know, what kind of can go ahead and close this. He'll tell you what what machine he's on, um, what kind of containers he has, these LXC containers, and what they're running. So this is much easier than trying to go through the command line. Now this is just the the initial bootstrap Juju environment. There's an internal Juju environment that has all of the other machines on it. Uh, it's a little trickier to get into. So if you go through here, this the, the again the doc will show you how to do all this stuff. So now we need to let's open this up in a new tab. This is where I found all the information on how to get into the internal environment. And again, it's a little a little harder, but no issues. So in Juju, you can do a lot of things, including SSH, via the charm name and what number it is. So, like we saw in the Juju GUI, uh, you can these names. You can SSH to those. You can you can access them. Uh, you can do a get to get information. You can do a status. You can use that name just like you would an IP if you have Juju on the front of it. So. These are just examples of a few things you can do, but you can do a lot of stuff if you go out go out to this link and grab the Juju um, documents, and it'll show you how to do all this stuff. And here, down here, I try to explain what this big long command is going to do when we put it in here. Basically, it's going to log in with Juju SSH to the landscape server, and then it's gonna it's gonna log into the actual node, that node two and then to the LXC container where landscape is. So if you just do this command, it's going to log into two different things for you using its internal SSH keys. And then it's going to go in and scrape. Uh, it's going to go find... It's going to set the Juju home to where it should be, and then it will find what your environment is called, and then tail that environment and log into it with the landscape ID. Uh, my environment, and I explain, I'll try to explain it the best I can down here. My environment's name is one, turns out, and that's probably the default uh, environment name for the landscape install. So just run this big long command, and it'll do all the work for you, and you can see it happen. So it logs into the node, and then it logs into the LXC container. So you're there. Now, this, allow this already exported that Juju home, so you should be able to do juju status right here and this one's going to be giant because this is the actual internal juju environment where it puts everything everything is under this guy and this will make things once we get the GUI spun up it'll make things a lot easier and it shows you the machine numbers we got more than just zero we got one we got two but three four all these different machines this is great stuff so now that you're in here you can install just like we did before you can install the Juju GUI on machine zero because again machine zero is where Juju lives so we need to put it 
Juju GUI with Juju. So we'll let him install. And finding the the, the internal Juju GUI password is a little more challenging, but uh, again, it's out here. I'll show you how to do it. So let's check that Juju GUI status. And one too many. All right, and he's already started. He's already been picked up. So he is on node one. 780 and you can access you can do juju ssh and use that node and he'll come in there he'll go in there but you can do it from the ip too if you want to so you can go down here grab his ip no big deal uh but we're going to use that big long concatenated command again with these juju ssh commands uh because it's much easier uh now, before we did the landscape uh, the, on the landscape server where he was deployed, we're going to do the same thing here, but uh, we have to use the Ubuntu user because he's the one that has the rights to be able to sudo and cat these environment variable files so that we can grab the password. So, ggui has been started. He is on this machine. So let's go out to mass. Uh, that's the machine. That is his IP. Let's grab his IP and throw it in the browser. And this is the internal environment. You can see he's trying to tell you where to go find it. He wants you to go grab that password out of here. And again, that Ubuntu user is the only one that has pseudo access so you can read that file, not the landscape user. So again, in that command we just entered, uh, we haven't entered it yet. So let's get out of here, just exit, and let's punch in that command again. But this time we're going to use the Ubuntu user so that we can see that file name. So we're going to hop to landscape. One fifty one 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 thirteen, and but then we're going to take a look at the environment YAML file. And there he is. So here's his secret now copy this guy and then stash it somewhere. That's not the most secure thing to do, but it's much easier than going through this and looking it up every time. So let's stick it here. That's good. Now you can go back to the GUI and pop it in here. And log in. You can see this thing is much bigger. It shows you all the connections and how everything works with Ceph and, and everything that you built and your compute nodes makes life much easier. Again, you can go over here, take a look at the service, uh, Nova Cloud Controller, you want to know something about it, where it's at, what it's doing, which IPs it's using. This just, it, it makes life so much easier. Uh, that's just getting you guys started with the Juju GUIs. Uh, this will help you troubleshoot things. See, so we've got something red there. We gotta go fix that. Uh, green's good. Red's bad. But that's just a taste of it. On the other troubleshooting videos, we'll get more into using this and and making our lives much easier and helping us understand the OpenStack cluster. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks.